this works now. Um, got the rare bug where occasionally the webcam just gets fucked. I don't know, sums up the USB connection or something. Doesn't work. And then it takes like 10 minutes to shut down. That's, it's all fixed. We're all good now, I think. And I can play games. At technical difficulties, but uh, all right. I think I think I'm good. Got a. I kind of wanted to like stop worrying about the stream and debug a problem. The Discord app got an update in Linux. Now it has this auto start thing. There's a setting for it to auto start. I checked it off and it still auto starts. I, I don't understand. I have to just uninstall it. The only reason I use it is so I can upload emojis to a server. So for some reason, that doesn't work. On a browser. I guess it's good for like when you're using it to chat and game. That's what I initially got Discord for. So face it. Did you use the app? I don't know. I find it kind of weird that there's like a setting for that, but it doesn't work. I'm like not surprised though. And anyways, let's play video games. Oh, we can sleep here? Okay, what's well, the morning, so I don't really care. Alright, so time to do some stuff in this game. I, uh,. Now, uh, all that college boy stuff I was talking about last week, last few days, finished up, finished up with my semester, so now I can just chill out in game. I got like a week and a half. Because I have a week and a half, and then I have Christmas, and then I have like half a week back. So, I've got some plans, so there's not really too much else for me to do other than game. And there is, but not like... Stuff that takes a whole day. I guess the base, the base plan of that is, uh... Playing this game. Look at the map. I knew I was gonna explore this area, so I could eventually go to here. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere else. I could explore these mountains and try to get the... Thing so I can get the sand boots. It's like, there's no point, I don't know. This is kind of weird. It's like, I. It's, it, I feel like this is the only desert in the game. And it's like, I'll have explored the whole desert by the time. Like, I'll explore all the desert and then do the highlands, so getting the sand boots is like kind of moot. There might be some more sand somewhere else. I haven't been. This whole northwest area. And then this one district down here. One area. Alright, yeah. So I've explored all this area that I can, that isn't blocked. Like, this area here is blocked by the elephant. We can explore northwest here. Guess I'll do that. I'm going the right way. Warhawk. I bet that takes me like deep into the uh, death pit though, so I'm not really gonna... This might not work out. There's a lizard boy too. Just take me, like, into an enemy. I wonder if your, uh, stuff regenerates faster. You have more s stamina. Doubt it. Okay, that one didn't get me into death, thankfully. Yeah. 
Man. Not really sure what the plans. I know what I'm for gaming the next week are, by the way. Like a bunch of random games on Steam that will only take like one day to. I only play for one day that I could do. Stuff like that. Then there's this game. Uh, there's some other games that I have lying around I've been meaning to play too. Doom 2 is the big one. Pretty sure just like this weekend I'm gonna play do through Doom 2. So I also want to get Doom 2016 in the Steam Winter Sale, which is very soon. Got him. Oh, now I'm gonna get attacked though by this guy. Maybe. Oh no, my spear. Now what do we use to attack him? A bomb? I don't even have any weapons I feel like using up. We get rid of the spear. That just one-shots him. Alright. I really don't understand the random encounters, the electric ones here, but whatever. Whatever, dude. No, I do find it weird, but I guess... I don't know. I don't feel like I, ma I move that slowly in the sand. I don't know where Naboris even is. Norboris? I don't, I don't know where Naboris is. Like, I guess if I wind up moving too slow over here, I can, uh... Oh yeah, I have this set too. Desert Road Pants. Yeah, it doesn't make like the heat resistance any better though. Or it can be a skeleton. F8. So it doesn't matter what hat or pants we have. As long as they're heat resistance. That's why I need to upgrade him. I just don't feel like fast traveling and teleporting away yet. Like, maybe after I fight the Daiga, I'll do that. Is that an enemy? Nope. I'll leave my Magnesis out to look at stuff. I really don't rem remember where the game told me the enemy guy was. The big boss boy. Basically, we're just gonna explore over here, and then... If it's like, there's extra slow stand on the way, then I'll... Then I'll go go after the boots. <laughs> means I have to explore the... what's it called? Oh, that's an actual sword? Okay. A nice little touch, I guess. Just take their sword? I see another statue anyways. Okay, so let's get the... Okay. 
It's got a claymore, but uh, I'd already have a good sword. Build a 72 one. That's low durability, apparently. I've only been using it for minecrafting. There's, there's, there's any big boys that I can like sneak kill. That's what I'd use this for. I think I need the claymore. That was interesting. Gerudo spear. Your inventory is full. Rip. Alright, let's go over here. There's just all this area. It's another thingy. I mean, it, it kind of is obvious where to go. What is this sign? Hang and bone, only open at night. Oh, interesting. Let's, uh, stamp it, I guess. I don't know, like, what the point even is, but... We'll head back. This is all kind of, uh... Yeah, the path to this is kind of just barren. Just the path to the valley. I wonder if it'd be easier to actually just go... Like, through their thing, because there's holes? Just climb up top and then jump down? Like, that might be easier, huh? Oh, whoops. Not really sure how to deal with this. I could just try to attack. Should probably honestly work out fine. I just want to like have an advantage going in. I guess just throw away. Uh, I can't really sneak up on him that well. So I have to have heat resistance on, on, or I have to have a resistance on. And have this much sneak. Oh, I can shoot his arrow and then it shocks him. That's what I got to do. Don't know what arrow I have, but. Okay, here we go. Precision shot. Excuse me? Oh, this is like a Shadow of Mordor. I keep missing. Yeah, this is my. I, I still need to beat Shadow of Mordor or whatever it is that you do in that game. Just shoot him in the head. You're supposed to shoot his horn, I think. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Let's use the ice sphere. Oh no! That's not what I meant to do. I didn't think I dropped the bomb. Oh. What's that? Uh... Alright, let's put better armor on. I kind of forgot I should be doing that. Yeah, this armor sucks. Alright, now we gotta use a spear. Dead. There we go. 
What's that sound? It was probably the fang and bone springing up. Oh no, that was probably my, um, what's it called? Full Fort Boomerang. Oh. Here, we'll just get one with less uses. To be mega efficient. I don't understand why he... Like, that looks like a bug. I guess they're in the sand, but... I don't know. That's all that was. We can make a fire. If we want. Where's the location I marked? The Fang and Bone, which is over there. It's still not open. I'm just waiting for it to be night so it can open up. It should be night. I guess it's when cold resistance is needed. Go ahead and equip it. I hate to wander too far away. Like, it's almost night already. Can I just, like, wait until it spawns? There it is. I don't even know what it is, because the last time I went to it, he just gave me some exposition and ran off. It wasn't very helpful. All right, dude. Monster shop is now open for business. Convert your monster parts into Mon. Mon is a currency I invented to destabilize the market and fight the power. Your fist up. Just kidding. There is no establishment in Hyrule. Only business that is... So you have to give him monster parts instead of, uh... You can make monster gear. So there's probably monster armor? He's always developing new monster gear. The more rare they are, the more mon they're worth. What will you exchange for mon? Uh, a fruit. Wait, why does monster extract count? What? Even ferocious scale, that actually is pretty meaty, huh? And some moblin fangs. So we have to use stuff that aren't monster parts to get rupees, basically. Um, not sure how much to give him or anything. Oh, we can give him guardian parts? Interesting. Make some talons. Spend some on. Spring loaded hammer. Like a small monster with this thing, and boing, it'll launch the monster into the distance. My monster extract. So buy a wooden mop, we can buy a spring loaded hammer. Probably exclusive to this. We can buy masks. Cool. Equip it to blend in with bo Boko blends. Oh, wait, we can be a spy? We can just blend in. This is the next. This is the next level of the game. We sneak a spy and then we whack them away with the spring-loaded hammer. We're gonna need to drop a weapon. But uh, get a wooden mop. I don't know why you need a wooden mop. 
I don't know what the use of monster extract is either. We'll get the spy gear. We'll buy some monster extract. He only has five. It's 45. I'll just convert. We still got plenty of stuff. Give him like 50. We'll probably need mo more Mon later. Okay. Alright, so we gotta drop one of our weapons, which is an easy choice here. So we can get the spring-loaded hammer. I guess we'll try it out. Alright, so first of order business, we gotta drop it and take a pick. It's probably exclusive to his store. I think I probably said already. Nine minutes ago. Stoptron is redeemed. Streamer will say hi. Uh, hi. Those of you... Those of you just looking at chat. I haven't seen anyone. You can stealth chat using, uh, Streamlabs... What's it called? Oh, nope. He showed himself. Never mind. I don't know what to think of that, honestly. I acknowledge stuff in, uh... The Streamlabs things too much. It's, you can just have secret conversations. It's up, H-Factor. A.K. Zack. Alright. I think deep in the back of my mind, I somehow knew that. Just gonna make stuff up and say that's the case. I guess I can do two for one here. Let's try out the spy armor and the... Actually, I can't do that because I'll freeze. Try it when it's, a uh, normal weather. Like, I can't imagine... I mean, it's a game. It's a video game where you can just change clothes and go into a Gerudo town. Even though you still speak with your m male voice. I like, guess just putting a hat on. Mm, let's not waste our weapon on this. I only have, like, good weapons to use. Uh, oh. Okay, that's why I can't pick it up. I don't know if that's just game balance by Nintendo, or if I just don't use bow and arrows enough, but... I go through like 8 million weapons by the time I go through one bow. Okay, there's a thing. They didn't make it completely barren on the way to that valley. Just almost. Go over here, though.
Hmm. I don't know what to think of this sandstorm. This one's not based on the elephant. This is what we do. <laughs> okay. There goes that. Anything else good? Not really. There we go. How am I already in the sandstorm? Okay. Uh... Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> Whatever. That worked. Not, I don't know how that worked. I don't know why this counts as being in the sandstorm either. If I had to guess... You're in the sandstorm, eventually you just can't move anymore. You just get sent back. Hey, look at this! These guys. Oh, okay. Look at those guys. We're just gonna. I like how I want to save them, and then all those guys spawn. Like, what the heck? And then there's, um, these guys coming, too. my favorite thing. The jump attack is just like, you don't do it. You just die. Alright, there we go. That one's making a glowing sound, though. Yeah, it's got more durability. Alright, who are you people? Hi. Judah Town, here we come. We're young, single, and we're on our way to a burg full of ladies. <laughs> Let they dig your way with a sword, fella. Too bad about your face, though. Ah. What, what did I even mean? <laughs> Link is just getting roasted in this area. Everyone's making fun of his height. Now people are insulting the rest of his appearance. Mm, I don't really feel like going over there. There's a little sneak preview of, uh, this Highlands area that I'm supposed to go to is.
Huh, there's a little blue torch thing. Two, actually. Probably the enemy you don't want to fight, too. Well, too bad they don't just want to stand right next to, uh... Their electric guys that explode. I can't understand that. Why wouldn't you just want to stand right next to guys that might explode and shock you? That makes sense to me. Is that a black Lazalfos? Have I taken a picture of one? Okay, I have. Oh, there's a lot of boys here. We can do two, one of... Two, oh, heck. Okay. The electric guys are good for... We can shock those guys and fight them. If we're up here, we can just jump down in, like, slow motion. The, uh, other guys. Here's what we can do. Okay, let's use the golden bow. That didn't even do him much good. Oh, I think they see me. Well, yeah, I didn't really do any damage to them, but it looks like I can maybe just fight them. Yeah, this one sees me. We'll just 1v1 him. Okay. So I'd like to just drop down and like Shadow of Mordor headshot the one guy, but I don't know how effective that'll be. Put a better weapon on. Oh, oops. I don't even have to be in this menu to do that, though. Do they not see me because it's a sandstorm? Interesting, so you just don't have a map. Maybe that's the only thing about the sandstorms. It's not even hard to keep like your sense of direction in a sandstorm. Okay, this is four boys if I just jump in here and try to slow motion. Which might work. Might. We'll try it. And how I use an electric sword. Neither why is this guy wielding a spoon? Wait, what a wimp. Oh, now I need heat resistance. I've yet to use my hammer, but I kind of want the loot. I don't just want to slay them.
Okay. I guess if they don't pick up weapons, they're not very tough. Major oversight. See if this works. Nope. Let's see actually what happens if I hit this with a hammer. Nothing. <laughs> well. Let's have to use hammers to, uh. Do anything with those. Really? It's still too hot? Even with heat resistance? Huh. I bet if I upgraded these, that would be all I needed, but... Unfortunately... It must be like the extra hot part of the desert. The exploring at night was really smart, but unfortunately... Not really sure what to do, yeah. I want to go into the runes and follow the statues, but... Let's see if a food... If food doesn't help, then I'll have to turn back. Oh, I do have a mid-level heat resistance. The only one. Actually, I have two that last a little while. This one help? Okay, so they stack. Okay, well, we're gonna go to the statue and follow it. We don't have a map. We just have to go to the statue and just turn around. If we get lost. And leave the sword there, so that way we can find it by Magnesis. It's kind of interesting, though. No map. I got no GPS signal. Come on, Valve. Here's another one. Also hear a Korok right here. There it is. There he is. Like, does this get marked on the map? I guess it does. You go to it. Okay, so just go straight ahead. Wait, what? Okay, there was something to take, and then it was gone. There's another statue. You can kind of... I don't know. Maybe that's intended, but... Use Magnesis to navigate. Just like a bird. As long as I can, uh, climb up this, I feel like you might. A chance. We're not out of the sandstorm if we climb on this, though.
I gotta keep going this way. Oh, there's another statue. It's like, as long... Hopefully there's another statue, because I'm gonna lose my way. Ah, and there's a shrine. And there's that a seal? Alright, here we go. I wonder if this will clear the sandstorm. It might. Dude, I can fast travel in this game? I never knew that. And it looks like this one is... Actually, no, they have water on the sides. Yeah, this one's a puzzle. This one isn't just you made it here. I am keen as zoos. A delayed puzzle. Okay, well, we got a ball bouncing back and forth. I've never seen one of these. I have no idea what this is. Do I hit it? I don't have any disposable. Actually... Not stasis it. Can't magnesis it. I don't know what it is. It's there, though. Chest? Related to that thing. Ah! Okay. Let me just put it to this. And this opens the thingy, doesn't it? Okay, so we gotta find a way to put it on the one that opens the chest. Which is this one. This looks like all we do is put it over, though. It's actually not that hard. There you go. Let's see what loot we get. Moonlight Shmitar. However you say that. Durability up. It's one attack better than this weapon, so we'll take it. I guess it was easy on purpose? I don't know. Because you already had to put some effort to get here. The name of the god is Hylia. Staying upon the Spirit Orb. I don't know if I've ever actually read that one out. Probably the first time I did one of these. Oh, we got four. Alright, now the question is, uh, now where do I go? I can't even fast travel, because I can't use the map. That's actually, yeah, that's a big one. You can't fast travel out of the sandstorm. If I'm in the sand. Okay, the sandstorm cleared. Interesting. It's actually very, that is really interesting. It cleared. Cleared. And there's sand seals right here as well. I think they all point to uh, the shrine. I 
I gonna do? Oh, I was gonna put climbing gear on. You always gotta take to the high ground in this game. Oh, hey. Um. There we go, that was very tricky. And then we slide back down. Like we want to go this way? Like the sandstorm... Maybe back? Okay, that's in the same spot, never mind. There's stuff over there, there's stuff... ...over there. Basically. I guess I should take a seal, so let's get some sneak gear on. If we can get the seal. There we go. Just in case, I'm a little noited. I get in the too hot zone. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, that sucks. When I get off of it, it'll be gone. Can't go any farther. Hundred rupees. Why did the seal just die? It's just gone. Like, bye. I like how they point you the other way. I like how I'm in the sandstorm, but I can still see. Because I guess that's a different sandstorm. That's just one thing you can't walk forever that direction. Invisible wall. All look like the same type of sword. There's got to be one that's probably like an Easter egg one that has a better weapon. Just probably. Where's my marker at? Okay, just straight ahead on top of one of these. Oh, here. This is what we can do if we don't want to fight. Where's my hammer? Where is my hammer? Okay. There we go. I didn't even really get him out of my way. Like, out of my hair.
Oh. Alright, let's be a little sneak. Sneaky. Looks like this is an enemy base. Not what I anticipated this being. And now I'm too cold. Oh yeah, we gotta kill this guy. Okay. Now we can just fight this guy. And then he just fell off. Because of his jumps. That's pretty funny. Shield guard up plus 11. I don't know what that means. What does that mean? I don't really care. Still there. If I want to fight him. I really don't, yeah, care about fighting these guys too much. Oops, wrong weapon. Steel Weisel shield, so I can just swap out mine so it never breaks. There we go. Oh, what? It's not to say. It's quick shot though, Ned. Stir ability up. Quick shot would be pretty cool to have. Quick shot is, uh, where apparently it starts off fully charged. I had a zoom bow that had that, but it's zoom, so that would be hard to aim. But I can't attack from here. Can I sneak attack him? Let's get our night speed up. We're gonna risk moving too slow. I bet this is actually like a strat. To have cold resistance just for one second. Still not the best sphere. Something glowing up there. Alright, well, that was that area. So I guess the point is just to have a lookout. So if you walk over here, you have to fight him. Looks like it. Also looks like there's, yeah, guys sitting up there. Oh no, the zombie boys.
Okay. Might not be anything to this, but it just looked interesting. It looks like they just made it, uh, tall. I did have a chest, it's just the item in the chest wasn't any good to me. I hoard the super good items too much. And if it's not a weapon, you don't really... I feel like even if, if it's like... Even if you don't really hoard shields or bows, you aren't gonna like run through them like crazy. It's not how you use them. I think it was the moon that was glowing. <laughs> That what I saw when I was looking up, by the way. That's a simple explanation. There's runes up there that I haven't been to. That's probably maybe where the statue I need to go to is. Okay, uh, more zombies. I guess if you don't kill them, they just, uh, come back. Okay. So looking, looking at the time. It's only been an hour. Alright, so I guess I'll just go down this valley. I kind of wanted to maybe go from the top, but I'll just... Oh no, I kind of like going the way, the I guess the mainstream way the game wants you to go. Sometimes. That was a weird sound bug. I could go from the top. According to the map, I can just, since there's a valley in between these, I can just walk from the top and then drop down. If I want. I guess there is a lot of treasure in the sand still. I'm not surprised they didn't make it so it's like barely visible. You gotta do some metal detecting. Sort of thing. Oh, that's another chest. That's a lot of chests. I wonder if we can kill this guy with a chest. Let's see if we can do that actually. We'll just whack it on top of his head. Nope. That's a good spear, but my inventory is full. I mean, I guess I don't really need the hammer. I just took it for the gimmick. I could use I could need it though. It's like uh that might and magic game where you can kick people that's on the source engine and just send people flying to kill them. That could be the approach here. You kinda can already do that with bombs though. But uh the fourth swing in a string of attacks. Okay, so you gotta hit him with it four times too. 
don't know if it'll be too useful here, because no one's going to be, like, up a cliff. Here we go. Let's just, uh... Go through the valley. Go fight the Yaiga. The organs of our victims just hanging here. Wherever these frogs are. Lack of music and all these frogs is kind of like menacing. They got a trap for me. <laughs> the frogs, what do they mean? <laughs> they're for they're like scary and foreboding to me. So we're going to an enemy base. So we could use the sand boots, but I don't know. The game makes you explore like some area that is com a completely separate part of where you're already exploring to get him. Maybe it's not like that much exploration, but it's still some. Yeah, it looks like it'd be a lot easier to just travel from the top and jump down. Okay, Monk. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, these ones are like Yaiga ones. There's just the Shika logo, but upside down. No? That's not right? What about this? Maybe they want mighty bananas? That would make sense, actually. I only have... Oh, I have enough bananas. That might make sense, because the Yaga people drop bananas when they die. I don't understand this, then. I just have to mark this on the map and do it later. I have to like kill the Yaga before we can do anything. Oh, hey, that was right. There we go. First try. What do Yaga like? Winky face. Oh yeah, here a dragon. Thingy. Sorry, short attention span. I was gonna respond to you, but I hear a dragon. I guess thanks if you were giving me a hint, but uh, coincidentally. I 
can't think of any indie window to come from the word Yaiga. I can't think you meant it, meant it that way. Oh, hey, here's another one. This one is the other way, so... Probably on Apple. What dragon would be over here, though? Don't I have pictures of all the dragons? I might not. Be a new dragon or something. We missed him, though. Can I? Oh, I can't do this. Stupid game. <laughs> Stupid game. Make me look bad. Why can't I just drop them all at once? Really? I guess I'm just too hecking smart. I saw that the masks were upside down before. So that meant they were, uh, Yaiga. Apparently this one is not. We'll just try every single fruit. Only take five minutes per fruit. I like how they bounce out like basketball. There we go. Well, that's kind of weird. Or wait, am I blind or is this the same? Is that the same logo? Let me check my Sheikah armor. Oh, okay, they both were upside down. Never mind. Never mind. I thought I thought it was flipped the other way, so that way it was like the Sheikah one. That was wrong. Now, if it turns out that their uh, dungeon, their cave is like a sand sand pit, then I guess I'm gonna have to go on a detour for the sand boots. Uh oh, that was the way I was supposed to go. All these freaking frogs. Here's a hint on how to beat them. You gotta throw a frog at them. Drop a frog on the ground and they will be unable to attack you as the frog is their holy symbol. Let's look over here real quick. Kind of reminds me of, like, a graveyard. Like, here's all the assassins you killed. Oh, okay, this is a shrine thing. Offer a shining blue soul. S -s -p -p stone. Alright, let's go minecrafting for a shiny blue stone. Either a luminous stone or a, a sapphire. I don't think this is it. Yeah, there's sapphires and we're gonna try sapphire. No? Luminous stone? Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> Alright, I can't imagine this one is just, like, you go in and you just get the orb. That, that one was not hard at all. 
Like, they literally tell you offer a stone and then there's stuff to mine right next to it. I could be wrong. Yep. Oh no, never mind. Gotta have water on the very sides for it to be a U of one. Show Dantu. Two bombs. Two chains. Oh, hey. Well, I don't think that was the chest, but that was just one for, hey, good job for being a little observant and explorative. Hmm. Oh, I know what I probably do. No? How does this work then? Oh, you probably throw a bo you put a bomb on it. How does that not work? Okay, so we throw two bombs on it? Okay. Oh wait, the other bomb didn't even explode. Interesting. There's another... Oh, this is why... Okay, this is why this one is called Two Bombs. Put this one here. Put this one on here. There we go. I bet... I bet there's a reason to step on this, so I'm gonna try it that way. Try standing on this. No? So what if they'd be a chest from jumping on it, but I guess not. Maybe that one chest was the chest. There's this area up here, so probably not. Maybe... Hmm. Stand, yeah, you stand on one of these, and then you dead. I guess that one chest might have been the chest for the, uh... Shrine. It's the first that it's just a plain old, uh... Rupees, though. Oops! 
sorry, that almost... Almost went bad. Almost just got flung while in hit stun. Um. Okay, so you got a time. It's a bit of a timing challenge. Uh. Uh. Oh, that wasn't it, huh? Wonder if we just have to do it from both sides? Oh, we probably do. Probably when that thing is orange. The door opens, yeah. Well, that is so tricky. There's gotta be... So if one of these two just sticks to the, uh, thingy. And the other one, we have to do it in the middle of the air. Okay, so that one we detonate while we're on the thing. And this one, to time it. Yep. And... Maybe that isn't the way you're supposed to do it? Kinda? Like, in terms of it doesn't have to be just a guessing challenge, because I had no time to turn around and see where the heck I was going. Let's see if the round one is supposed to stay in there, too. Yep. Oh, okay, it's supposed to just stay in there. Okay, so it is simpler. I didn't realize it would, uh, just do its thing. Yep. Alright, well, I hacked that up. Yep. Okay, so this is all we do. Ah, uh, why did it miss? That was just like a physics unlucky thing. It just stayed in the thing just fine before. That's, oh yeah, that's what happened with the um a ball for me too. Okay. There we go. Now I got it. Alright, and I guess that one chest was the chest. That was like the first, uh, shrine that I had to, like, go through effort to, like, unlock it. And then it had, like, a tough shrine inside of it. Like, the other one I just did, I did have to find it, but the sh challenge in it wasn't that hard. Like, a lot of the rest of these recently have been, like, you do this thing to unlock it, and then it's just, that's it, you get the orb. <laughs> I guess one of them was a combat challenge in inside. I kind of imagine that this one, eh, it's kind of close. I imagine it's kind of here as a fast travel point to this Yaga clan. We'll see.
probably don't need any stealth, honestly. Let's just put on some tough, tough clothes. Oh yeah, there's one. What is that weapon? Oh, it's a bow. Oh, he shot the bomb out of my hand. A duplex bow. It shoots two at once. That was the most trouble I've had fighting one of those for a while. I guess we gotta take a picture at least. It does 28 damage. It's not like a huge downgrade. This bow's about to break. We'll just, we'll pick it up. Try it out. Alright, but now they're on to me. Now they're going to attack. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I have all this food that... ...sucks. I'll just do attack up. Aw, oh, heck. It's just if I'm standing still at all, I'm screwed. Okay, you can corner them, though. Oh, what? Really? Unlucky. Too bad they can't hit each other. That'd be cool. Oh boy, this boy's got a duplex bow. Oh, I got a replacement for my hammer, though. At least. I'm glad the traveling at night thing happened. <laughs> I just got more people on my butt. Alright, so this thing, even though it does a ton of damage, I'm gonna have to get rid of it. Hopefully, I don't think that club actually is even good enough to work as a hammer. Alright, so shooting the guys with bows with a bow works out pretty good, it seems. Are we really already, like, at their base? I gotta have, like, a mini city. Yeah, we're already, like, into their thingy. The temple of doom. Torches in here. There's another duplex bow. Oh, so there's a secret we have to do to get in. Something. I can see it, because those things open. Oh, I get it. The bow That's why the bow was there. We just light stuff on fire. We just light the scrolls on fire? You light these eyes on fire? Oh, there's stuff in there, too. Is 
There we go. That didn't really do us any good, huh? Got some fruit, though. My only, only thing I can think of doing now is just catch stuff on fire. There we go, that does catch on fire. Gerudo Town. Oh. We heard the thieves hide out. We'd be at a disadvantage if a fight were to break out. Sneak into the hideout. But why do we have to sneak? We can't just kill them all? Yeah, I'll just kill. And they already know I'm here, right? Should. Is that a cave? That's a dead end. I could drop my stuff real quick, or my hammer real quick. There really should be a drop button, but there's not. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep the hammer. It is a unique item that I'll go through a lot of trouble if I want to get a diff another one. I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay, now the game said to save. Oh wow, 600 health the guy. Oh, he might want to sneak, huh? I think we got our hero's armor so we can just do whatever. Oh, hey, there's someone like right here. I had the Yagathes that stole the Thunder's helm. If they spot you, they'll call your friends. Okay, so if they s you can't just fight them because they'll just do a cut scripted cutscene where you just die. Uh. Oh, can I get you out with a fire arrow or the torch? Let's see if I can get her out. A fire arrow or something. Fire arrow will burn out. Let's get a torch. Let's drop... Um, we'll just drop this. Let's see if we can get her out. Don't want to risk shooting a fire arrow. This is kind of tedious, but this is what I want to do. I'll probably go grab it back, and if I need to set anything else on fire, just... Can I not burn this down? Aw. Yeah, I wanted to help her out. Oh well. Oh yeah, I guess this- well, this is a throw. This takes away durability.
Just need 10 more weapon slots and then I'll feel comfortable with just having a leaf and a torch at all times. Okay, so now we gotta sneak. We'll get our sneak on. Oh, and it's night, so we get more speed. This happens to be. Okay, so this is like the beginning of Wind Waker, probably. Like the only other 3D Zelda I've played. So this one we probably want to leave alone, but... After this we want to eat bananas. Ooh, there's a chest. Really? Come on, Nintendo. You cannot save right now. Fuck off. Fuck off. You cannot save. Why? He just doesn't care? What the heck? This guy does not care. Nope, you can't kill him. Oh yeah, let's take a pick. Yaiga Blade Master. Oh no, it's just still a foot soldier, okay. Jeez. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, I got one shot. I was like, oh shit, hit the, hit the thing. This is why they don't let you save, huh? I didn't even get to see what was in the chest. I don't know when the save was either. Okay, it's saved right here. Yeah, and then when you're in here, you can't save. I think it's... Like, they should have designed their game different instead of making it so you can't save, because just a big inconsistency. <laughs> I have 600 health. Like, I could fail them, but... Oh, well, I instantly got spotted. That's cool. I guess we'll just fight. Um, oops, didn't need to use that type of arrow, but... <laughs> Later, Sop. The good one. Like how they put you in, like, just enough hit stun so you can't just kill him. Alright, I got rid of these guys. Alright, so now we put better armor on, so we don't get one shot. And then we equip the electric sword, so that way their weapon... Oh, really? They still don't lose their weapon when you thunder them? 
Wow, so they're just designed to be like, if you want to kill them, good luck. I don't, that's kind of silly design, but. That's how they did them. They got little tails. Oh, heck. What was that ranged attack? Yeah, see, so, you know, they just... You and heck hit stun like crazy. No! I killed him and I wanted his weapon. And he just killed me instead. I like how I can't even save with the picture at least. So I don't have to keep doing the picture. Ugh. I could probably eat defense food and that would help. But I just want you to do it perfect. I feel like I feel like if I want to fight, this is probably the easiest era to, area to fight because it's only two of those guys and two arrow guys that basically instantly die. They specifically designed these guys to basically just like to not die. Like any way you're used to like getting an advantage that doesn't work. Elements, backstabs, headshots. Stasis probably doesn't work on them. Really? Or does it? Oh, wow. Okay, Stasis does, and Stasis is really good on him. How do you get this guy's attention, though? That was the problem I had before. I got the banana down, and then, like, he wouldn't eat it. Eat the banana. Hey, you. Eat the frickin' banana. Yeah, this is my problem. Do I have to fight him? I don't understand. Because he just doesn't respond to, like, the banana. And he doesn't respond to the arrow attention thing like some of the mob ones do. Banana needs to be in his line of sight. That's what I was thinking, but like, I can't get in his line of sight without him just calling the alert. Like, right here. Like, I guess that this is set up to where you have to fight them. Also, I forgot that that was even a thing in Nightpot. So that's pretty obscure. The most obscure. Alright, well that's pretty dumb. I guess we do have to fight them. Whatever. The, the, t the two and two isn't that hard, but... Uh, hello? It just wouldn't let me hit him. And my thing about dropping a banana in their line of sight is that, uh... Alright. 
Alright, just just die, dude. Alright. Alright, now we can equip our good weapons. Kinda. What did I even do last time? I guess I just whacked him a lot, huh? Cause I guess stasis works? That's about it. Stasis isn't even that good until it's a 1v1. Um... Let's run to somewhere a little better to fight, actually. This area is a lot better to fight. Oh, okay. Okay. That was a hecking ton of, uh... Well, this is kind of working. Uh. And this is this is literally Nintendo hard. This is memorize a pattern, mess up once, die. Um. Like, I'd actually like to kill them in this area, because I'd like to get their weapon, but I don't know. It's just the patience. I don't have the patience, I guess. Like, once it's down to a 1v1, it's pretty easy, because then I can just stasis them over and over, but... I guess, actually, that's what we our object our strat can be. And just engage with the. Uh... Oh my god! I just read your message. The sneak strike not kill them? Yep. Backstab. Alright, well now we can just make this a 1v3. Uh, I still want to try out his weapon. That actually, that's a really good combo. A back the freeze into backstab. Let's do that again. This time with the well, we don't want to like hit him too hard. So I guess we'll just come up to him frontal. I don't think those arrows did anything. Alright, but now we just fight his buddies. Alright, his buddies are dead, and now all we gotta do is fight him. Let's try to get him to teleport. Because his sword seems pretty good. We just need to, like, get it. I'm gonna make him teleport. If we can. He won't do it, though. I'm surprised that they freeze for so long, because there's a lot of weaker enemies. There's a lot of weaker enemies that you can't freeze them for that long. Yeah, and by the time... Alright. There we go, we got them. Oh, they only dropped two bananas in the first place. I was wondering if that was an issue. Oh, where does sword go? The wind cleaver. It creates a wind. Probably two-handed. Alright, now we got one. 
That's kind of why I wanted it. I just wanted to be able to take a picture of it and maybe wield it. To drop this crappy moblin thing. Use the wind cleaver. Yeah, it's two-handed. I don't like two-handed in this game, unfortunately, so I'm probably not going to use it, but... Not bad. Look at this chest is. Alright, so now we want to be sneaky. Oh yeah, the only thing that sucks is we can't save, so all this effort... We're going to have to redo, like, every single time if we mess up, which we probably will, because all this area is new to me. What's making a shiny noise? Oh, this torch. Why is that torch making a shiny sound? This is the ultimate torch. Critical hit torch, dude. Two damage. Epic. Alright, let's get our sneak on. Really wish I could save, but nope. Cannot save right now. We gotta get stasis out. That'll save us. The situation is bleak. They were up top. Oh my god, we found the banana. The banana hammock. Like, this area makes me nervous, because I don't have any clue, like, where any enemy is. Oh, I wonder if I can just walk out and then save. I bet I can. Let's do that. Like, even if the enemies respawn, that's still pretty good. I still get to keep my items in progress, at least. We'll try to do that. That'd be pretty good if we can just save by just walking out of the area. I don't know if, uh, Nintendo thought... Eh. Yeah, because it's, like, based on the area. Cannot save right now. There we go. Okay, now I'm guessing when I walk back in, they'll respawn, but that's fine. Because now at least I can, uh... Yeah, they don't even respawn. Oh, can we climb up this? Oh, that's another strat you can do. You can freeze him, and then you can just glide and do stuff that way. Alright, so now we're going to go back and try to... I don't think we can drop down and sneak. We might be able to... F if there's one person we can freeze, then that strategy will work. Otherwise, it's not very good. There's like a... yeah, more than one person. We can only freeze one guy at once. I don't even know... I don't even know the strat with the bananas. Let's see if we can try to just jump to that, because that's the only... Very tricky. It shows a bunch of upper area, but I don't know how you'd get onto it sneakily. Oh, you get on that ladder, okay.
No. Drop a banana. Okay. Got it. I feel like the chest is a bit of a bait. I feel like the chest will like get us discovered. Could be wrong. We'll see. I'm really not sure what we do about the guy that's up front there. One hundred roops. I don't, I don't know if my sneak is actually helping either. That I have. Oh boy, Link, do not do that. Okay, that banana is gonna help. Yeah, I can see where a banana would help. I just don't know. I guess we drop a banana and then we try to fall down. Only way I see this working. We just don't get discovered that way. Can we not just... We just grab it and then we fast travel? Just use our tablet? There's just a group of them uh, chasing me and then I just pull out my tablet? Bye. <laughs> Alright, let's see if this works. I save here? I don't see anyone. I feel like the middle one is like a trap and we don't want to open it. Especially since I can see that there's like a... Handle that we can move. Kind of spoils. Surprise. I could be wrong. I take the risk, anyways. Well, we'll move this and then we'll, uh. Is this just a way out? Oh, and open up in the middle so I can get out. There we go. Alright, let's check if it's in here. That was just bananas. Don't see anything else. We must have to keep going in. Oh, uh, yeah, because there's a cutscene. Oh, welcome to the Yaika Clan's, uh, second fortress. Oh, there's gonna be a boss boy. Oh, yeah, look at this hole. Something's just gonna pop up. Oh, or we're gonna have to jump down. Hey, is your name Lonk?
Oh, he was invisible. Wait a minute. If that's a Sheikah Slate, that means you're Zelda. I am the leader of the Yaga clan. Strong, the burly. The one, the only. But can I just freeze him with stasis? That's the question. <laughs> it's Koga. I'm use some coffin on me. Alright, let's get some armor on. Alright, excuse me, sir. Let me change clothes real quick. Let me use a better bow as well. Can we save now? Oh, we can save now. And I'm dropping frames now. Good timing. We'll just not use this weapon. We'll use our Thunder Spear and see what happens. Probably won't be affected. We'll go with more hearts as well. Take a quick pick of him too. Alright, Lonk. Move the heck away. Okay, I cannot freeze him. Game's a little balanced. Okay, so we just want to use a strong weapon on him. Alright, phase two. He calls minions? Ooh, I know what we're gonna do now. We're gonna do it when he's over the hole and he's gonna fall down. So let's wait until they're over his head. Oh, barely missed. Oh, I'm just a little too antsy. Got him. Alright, well that was that stage. Man, he's got a spiky boy. Let's see what he does with it first. Come on, Lonk. Look the right way. Oh, Magnesis. Got him! <laughs> so he has like basic Sheikah technology. Too bad he didn't call his minions. He's standing on the edge, let's get his our rubber hammer. Arg, what a pain. I can't go out this way. Listen, I'll give this up, okay? <laughs> Come on, Long. Just whack him with your hammer. <laughs> Secret technique taught by my mother, father's mother's father, aka 
My grandpa. Alright, he's gonna unleash his Kami Kami Ah. Right, since this isn't cutscene form, it's just gonna roll backwards. Yo, we're still you still there? Only the leader of the Yaga clan. Uh yep. Looks like Team Rocket's blasting off again. Uh, and then conveniently the chest that has the helm is just there. The Thunder Helm. There we go. We got it. We equip it? Oh, we can't equip it yet. It's not like the um, Zora ones. Let's just jump down the hole. Let's just jump down the hole. Should I just jump down the hole? What do I feel like doing? I kind of feel like just doing that. <laughs> just jump in the hole. Just do it. It looks like if we keep going, we might find the, uh, the statue, actually, because it takes us through the highlands. I almost want to go back, though, and see if I can kill. Because we can save and stuff now. Like, it might be empty. We'll double check. Hello? Is anybody there? Yeah, it's empty now. And there wasn't really that much to it, huh? Here we go, a little more jewels. They have enough people to send all over Hyrule as assassins, but... Oh, I don't want to wander here at night. Let's, um... I'll wait until it's, like, actually night, and then... Make a campfire. Alright, well, let's see where this goes. Because this might go to, um, the statue that I need to go to. Oh, really? It's just cold boy in here? <laughs> just tap it, and it's cold. Bam. Take one step, and it is freezing. I guess maybe they... Devs thought that most people would just fast travel. Oh, it's 50-50. The game, like, entices you to explore this area. It's like, hey, go, um... Find the statue and you get some sand boots. And I'm about to get jumped. Alright, I don't think I've seen Ice Lothalvos. Ice Lothalvos. There we go. Oh, I have. Okay. Well, all you have to do is use a fire weapon. I think I have a fire... spear. One shot, one kill. See, that's why you, I want to hoard the items. They're elemental. But then I don't have any weapon slots. Oh, it's even colder still. Where am I going? It is this cold. I don't have the items for this. I don't think. Oh, there we go. I don't know where I'm going, though. The area just doesn't make sense to me. Like, okay, you made it out. Now go this way. 
Oh, there's a caribou. Ah, oh, heck. I haven't seen a moose before in this game. All the moose is hecking dead. I see gourmet meat. I see prime meat. Interesting. Oh, and I have a slot for a spear? Cool. I don't think I have pictures of a wild berry either. Oh, I do. <laughs> Never mind. I hope this leads somewhere at least okay. I'm just trying to... I would think it would lead, like, back to Gerudo Desert eventually, because... The game puts you here after killing the Yaiga. There's some pink wolves. They seem pretty smart. They don't want to just fight. Oh no, I already have pictures of them. Why are they pink here? I wonder. Uh, okay. Just spawned. No big deal. He's just here. And this guy just has some good... Knight's broadsword and all that. No big deal. Actually, we'll go with the Shmitar, because it's only one less. Yeah, that guy had a knight's shield. Oh, whoops. Oh, heck! That's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. So they just, like, fight each other. Dude, he's got a stick. I better watch the heck out. Steel bow, but I'm a genius video game player, and I know that I can just, uh... This is why I wanted to not travel at night. Thankfully there is fire, so I can just run away from those guys. And go to bed. Oh, that wasn't even all of them. Let's try to sneak attack him, if we can. I think I can, but... We'll see. Oh, they got all this wood. Alright, now let's, uh, freeze this guy. That didn't really work out, the freezing part. There 
There we go. That's how we get a frag with the two-handed. Just need a ton of stamina. And there's another Knight Shield. Just in case I didn't have enough. Just in case I needed eight Knight Shields. There's eight. Decked out. Look at all this wood. These guys were prepared. They were playing Rust. I'm here playing Zelda and they're playing Rust. Gotta survive. Like, where am I? Where am I going? This is gonna take- if I follow this, it looks like it's just gonna take me... Like, nowhere specific at all. Honestly. Kind of weird, I don't know. I would just expect the game to, like, take you on a path, like, back out of Gerudo de to the Gerudo Desert. Instead, you kind of just take a me meandering path. To wherever. This is where I just came from, isn't it? Yeah, looks like it. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, whoa, look at those guys. That is, uh, something. I've got a plan. It's called fire. I bet there's a shrine in there. Need to get their attention. There's the sound again. There's the dragon. Faroche. Oh, it's Faroche again. Well, what's he doing here? He spawns at the bridge. Hylian Bridge, too. Oh, is my weapon melting this? It is. Is there anything else I can do? There we go. Yeah, it's pretty obvious what this is. Not sure, like, I guess I can try to light a fire? That's probably the smartest thing. Let's get some minecrafting. We need we need flint and we need wood. We make a campfire. That is not it. There we go, does that help? It's like we need another one.
don't know if this is just a time thing or what. I'm gonna do one more. Oh, whoops. There we go. Alright, so we at least got a shrine out of this, I guess. That's what uh, the path was for. Needed three fires. And then it tells me. Oh yeah, by the way, if you haven't figured it out by now, if you use a uh, fiery attack, you kill. Kill pretty good. Oh, and this is a melting puzzle? I am cut to car. Melting the ice hazard. Offer me, before me, a block of ice. Only then will the path forward open. Interesting. To figure out what the path forward is. That that's a rip off straight from Mario. We push it. How do we do this then? Okay. We need this? Looks like we do. Can't see now, though. There we go. Oh no! Oh yeah, it looks like if I do it there, I get treasure. Did I? Might as well. Oh no, I jumped over it. Good thing there's a ladder right there. That's the point of that ladder. Get a frost blade with long throw. Yeah, well, we might as well pick it up because our sword's about to break. I haven't seen long throws in a tribute either. There's gotta be at some point in the game, somewhere where you can craft attributes onto items. It's gotta happen. But, I mean, I don't know how it would work, but I imagine, like, you need a weapon with an attribute and then... the weapon you want. Or something like that. Yeah, how is this gonna work? Get creative with this. We gotta put it in stasis somehow. I 
Yeah. How is that gonna work? Yeah. I bet I know how. Put this here, and then we stack it. Do we push? We can push the block. Yeah, the ice with the, not the metal one. It's kind of tricky. Can't figure this one out immediately. I can figure it out, but uh, yeah, we'll walk through and see if there's anything up here. So we gotta get the block of ice through this somehow. I'm guessing you can probably push it with your feet. Let's see if we can do that. Yeah, we can. I think. Let's double check. We can just push it with our feet. This is how we do it. Can't though. We can push it with the block, but that doesn't work. Because the ice will go in the fire first. Before the block. Like, we could put it in stasis, but I don't know how we'd put it in stasis. Like, move it up and then put it in stasis. Now, can we just freeze it? Just freeze. I haven't used the freeze ability in quite some time. I thought maybe there'd be something, yeah, if I went through. Hmm. This is the only way I can figure out how to get through. But I can't do that with ice. Maybe I gotta think fa maybe I gotta have fast reflexes. Oh heck. Hardly see, but my only guess is I get to throw it, but then I gotta quickly move the thingy up. Alright, here we go. What's up, Warm Bob? Who put all this here, and why? Oh, heck. Oh, that kind of works, but not really. The, uh, people that came before Link put these here, I think is the lore. But I can't, I'm trying to think of the lore, yeah, I think it is. Like, these are ancient shrines, but... That's a good question. The, consult the Zelda wiki. This is the only thing I can think of. Like, throw it and then lift the uh, block up. How long does this slide if I throw it, though? That doesn't count. That doesn't really work, though. It doesn't have enough forward momentum. Oh, he probably can throw it in between the crack. Maybe. Probably not, actually. It is a crack, but... I don't think that's gonna work. There we go, got it. It's a tiny ice block, but, you know, I tried. 
Got it. We just threw it through the fire. It's no big deal. Got it. All you had to do is just throw it through the fire. No big deal. Now all I know is that when you do these, you get these spirit orbs, you can power up Link. That's the lore reason. Alright, now I have to figure out where the heck I am. Because, uh, I have no idea. The game decided, the game designers decided after you do a story area, there's a path that leads to this region. But where it goes in this region isn't quite clear. It needs to just go kind of deep. I guess if I keep walking up, I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it'll just keep going this way. And I can climb up. I don't know. I could go to Gerudo Summit, because that might be where some... a thing I'm looking for is. Continue on the path and deal with it. Like either that or where is it? Like right over here, are some ruins by this tower. I guess because I'm still looking for this. Oh, can I freeze the dogs? No, even though they're hostile. Can't freeze the dog. Why is this one still hostile? There's a Korok thing over here, but... So here it looks like we just get some diverging paths. We can go down or we can go up. Whichever we feel like. Oh, really? They don't want to break. If I go this way... It's not too clear where I go. Just go down to another area, another part of the map, this part. It's a floating island. And that's cool, right? I should you can take a picture of that. I think. Let's do this Korok thing and then we'll just turn around. This one is the trickiest one yet. This one is tough. What is... What What do I need to match up here? I see all the towers in the distance I have yet to do. All three of them. Let's just do them all real quick. 
can, we can see them, so they're just right here for us to activate, right? It'll only take like one second. Knight's bow. Oh, well, yeah, let's say. Not any better than any of the bows I already have. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I want to go this way, because that looks like it just goes to that part of the map. The world. It's not what I'm trying to do right now. Not really sure what to do. No, I kind of... Like, we started all the way down there. Started all the way down there, and we just climbed up. Not sure why the game is sending me this way, but... I'll just keep going. Okay. Oh god, more Octoroks. Oh, these are snow ones, okay. Not even gonna get the goods. Not worth it. I guess we'll go up here? I really don't want to go too deep up, but I can just go ahead and... Are those enemies even? I can't tell what they are. Oh, okay, they're Moblin. Or whatever they're called. I've already seen black Moblins. I'll not worry about them then. Oh yeah, I have a disguise item. Let's see if I can disguise. Oh, except for it'll be too cold. Yeah, for these cool new disguises. Equip it to blend in with... Boko blends. But then I'm too cold. Not sure what I'll do. Just run past. They won't care. It's not like they'll actually chase me. I just can't go in their base. What are these guys doing here? And why do they have just a million bombs? Push rocks on top of them. Yeah, I don't understand this path. It's like, okay, you did the Yaga clan. Now just explore this completely separate area instead of going back and returning to, uh, What's it called? Better returning to the town. Oh, I don't have pants that'll help me climb. I haven't unlocked those yet. There's the red sun. Good thing we aren't going on any killing sprees, because Ganon was just going to revive his boys. That one is alive, though. We can kill it, though. OK. 
Okay. <laughs> Dead. Pretty sure it's just gonna get revived in like... Yeah, five seconds, though. It'll be really weird, but... Oh, no. Like, I just wanted to take a look. I don't need this. Go up to this high point and just take a look around. Oh, whoops. I thought I was skipping it. Skip. There we go. I know Ganon was reviving his boys. Alright. These are enemies. They are. Can you make sure I have pictures of them? I'm pretty sure I do. I could be wrong. Yeah, I do. Album is full, dude. Okay, now that I've wandered all the way up here, yeah, that guy I just killed got revived as soon as I killed him. It has happened one time where... Was in the middle of attacking an enemy base and then Ganon revived him. That was that. Like, I'd rather have a good spear than a sword that freezes. Honestly. I'm way up in these mountains. I did want to go to this Gerudo summit. There's a chance what I'm looking for might be here. It's called Gerudo. It has the word Gerudo in it. The tiny chance. Otherwise, it might be like over here. I have pictures of Ice Woman? Oh, heck. Here, hold up. Before I fight you, let me delete some images. Get my delete on. There's some very good pictures. Ah! Oh, wow. I don't really need Faroche, but if this helps me get around... I'd love that, at least. I don't really need ferocious scales or anything, but... <laughs> Orok thing. I'm just like, yeah. I'm like skimming over so much of this mountain, because I didn't... wasn't really ready to just explore the whole mountain. Oh yeah, I do have snow boots. I could've uh, used them, actually. I just remembered I have them. Where are they? Here we go. Oh! 
Oh, really? That's BS. I'm in the middle of doing a Korok thing. And these guys decide to spawn. That's kind of a yes. Alright. There we go. There's a sh there's two shrines in the distance, but I don't want to mark them because you only have limited you only have so many markers. I can see three of them in the distance. But I'm not exploring that area anytime soon. Like, I guess after I do this the shrine quest for this area, or the... Like, after I finish up with this area, this desert area. What the heck is that? Hold up. There's like a shrine thing. That's interesting. I don't even know what you do there. It has electricity marks on it? You just shoot it with the electric arrow? Go ahead and try it. I'm gonna do it. <gasps> Got him. First try. <laughs> Heck yeah. I don't know, would you call that an obvious hint, or... It was kind of an obvious hint. We're just gonna have hecka upgrades. We're gonna be maxed out. By the time we do, like, the last Guardian. Oh, this one was just... Really? Is this one just... You get the orb? Yeah, this one's... What do they call it? By entering this place, you've already proven your worth. The Kiha Yug. Alright. Can we get a diamond? You've done well to arrive at the shrine. The hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. I don't know why I'm reading it out for... I've seen this a million times. Alright, we only need one more. And, uh... A certain thing can be done, I'm pretty sure. But I'm glad I'm in the areas I am. I haven't had to deal with rain just ruining my day. Ever. Not in a while, at least. It's so clear out now. I can see clearly what this other area is now. And what's down here. So, Alright, I was about to say, I was going to freak if I had to climb back up. There's all that stuff over there. Obviously, I'm not really interested in going to it right now. 
Now let me just play for 24 hours straight. I'll explore all this area I can see over here, and then I'll go back to Gerudo Valley. Gerudo Desert. I guess if I was just thirsty for- if I just needed to do shrines. These are visible at least. You could glide to them and do them. Not how- not sure how effective that would be. Alright, well, let's just climb up. I'm just looking for a statue still. We'll find it. One day. Uh-oh, I think we'll make it, but I could be wrong. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Almost landed on my head. Aw. I kind of like my spear more. I have plenty of weapons. Can't be a baby about them. Oh, I guess I can get rid of that, though. I guess maybe they put you here because, like, the thing I've been no- The thing I've already pointed out, like, your reward- A reward for exploring here is sand boots, but the only place the sand boots are useful is the desert, which... I've already done, like, half the stuff to do there. Ooh, I think I see it. Okay. There's one of those guys. It's like a valley. It looks like a stronger version of ones I've seen. White Mane Lionel. Okay. That's a new boy. That's a tough one. Where are the wolves at? Oh, they're down there. It's only one. Okay, okay. Right now we need to just sneak. We need to be a sneaky. Sneaky sneaker. Actually, yeah, this makes sense. Because the sword is part of... The statue. It's like the statues that I did the shrine for, the giant ones. Or they were the seven? Or six? Okay. Oh wow, look at the elephant from here. You can see it very clearly because there's no sand rendered. Pretty crazy. What was that noise? Is this the picture the guy wants? Doesn't really seem like it. Seems to be all that's left, though. Yep. 
Okay. We just need all night shields. No big deal. Like, wow. I still need the Guardian one, because the Guardian one supposedly... Supposedly the Guardian shields will, uh... That weapon. We'll freeze him. Then we'll use... Sword on him. Uh, it's just a golden claymore. Just... Just a golden claymore. It might be stronger than this, actually. This might not be do the job I want it to do anyways. Nope. So I just want to use the two-handed as a, uh... Um, a hammer, anyways. This is a hammer and an axe. But I never really use it as an axe. This is the only piece of the statue I see. I think the guy that wants to give me boots wants me to, uh... ...find the other piece. Have I been this way? I think I came from this way, didn't I? Yeah. Maybe? It looks like I did. Hmm. Like, so close, but so far. There's a piece of the statue, but I don't think that's the piece that I want. But what is this area? Okay, this is... This is the area I've been. Basically. Hmm. Interesting. I don't really care, honestly. He can do his thing. He's doing him. Let him be. Well, that sucks. I see the sword, but there's got to be like a body that goes with it somewhere. I thought it'd be right here with it somewhere, but not really anything else here. Might be on the other side of this field somewhere? Over here? Just have to find it. And I don't know how you just. I don't know how you separate like a giant sword from a. the rest of a statue. Maybe the rest of the statue is in this gulch here? Looks like that's kind of where we have to go anyways. Because we can't go straight. We have to go, like, in this gulch. I guess we'll just sneak back around. One of these days I'll fight one of those, but 
feel like the white one's probably like a, the strongest tire tier. Probably not what I want to take on first thing. Oh, hi. Golden Claymore. No. Oh, I thought I could get two and one. Oh, where did he come from? So might as well just use a fire item in one shot. Okay. Treasure chests are kind of weird. Noticing. Yeah, this is where I came from. So I can remember jumping down and then flying back. Oh, there is a Korok thing here. I don't want to mess with that. There's two of them, actually. This one is a uh, go somewhere challenge, though. It's go all the way across this. Oh, no, it isn't. It looked like it was. <laughs> there we go. That finally happened. And... It sucks. And well, where does this want me to go? What's well, two core hawks in like one spot? Oh, heck. Oh, heck. Back the F up. They're very slow, but they're very dangerous. Themes. Where did the other one go? Or did it kill me? Or kill it? Like it died because it killed me. What I was trying to say. Where's my piece of the puzzle? Nowhere to be found. Oh, it's over here. What is it doing over here? I thought that was our statue. We can maybe mark it. There is a shrine right here somewhere. There it is. Well, I guess we'll go for this, but... Because all we're gonna do is bomb these guys off. Oh, heck. Where's our hammer? There we go. Uh, 
That's a lot better. That's like the hardest I've had to work to get one of these pieces so far. I think it's this piece. I think it's... Does it see this? It's probably actually this. There we go. Alright, I kind of don't want to go down there because I wouldn't actually explore. I just... Like, I'd just go to the shrine and then I'd run away. I wouldn't actually do anything. My only problem. Let me change this to a stamp. But I can't get back up anyway. There's no wind thing like this. There we go, we missed the random encounter. We could glide straight to it, but that's kind of like cheesing it. I didn't really find the statue. It's like the only reason I'm wandering here. Wanted to find the statue and then go, but... Because having the sand boots while I'm in the desert would be pretty nice, but... You know... Yeah, too bad it isn't daytime, because it'd be way easier to look around. It was. I guess I could just... What is even this way? Oh, we're looking at the desert. Are we? No, we're not. Okay, that's where the shrine is. I guess we'll... I guess we'll jump down. We'll do this shrine, and then we'll just walk down to this. And go back to the, uh... Desert. I think I want to make a fire and wait until morning, too. Because I don't really like the visibility. Night. Here. Love it. Can probably whack this guy with a pressure chest. Where am I going? I'm going to the other side of this final. Oh, we can probably shield surf down, actually. That's probably a nice and fast way to go down. That bird. Ah. We can take... Might need to take a picture of it. Maybe the White Lionel is actually weak to, uh, ice. To get cocky and just shoot a million snow arrows at it. Oh no, this just takes me back here. Where I already was. Cool. Well, that doesn't do me any good. I've already been here. 
And I was like, cool, there's a, uh, this. So there should be a statue nearby, right? And then there's not. Bombs are really good on these guys, because they are always heading towards you. From afar. It's like the perfect distance to bomb. Right, let's ride our shield down the mountain. Except for gliding is even... I like gliding better. I can barely tell what is what over here. All I know is here's a spot to bomb. Oh, I just died to the... Does this guy really want me to just climb? He does. I'll hope I brought a uh, food for stamina. There we go. I'm sure I could do it, like, not... ...with items, but it'd just be so slow and tedious, you know? My god, I'm gonna use them all up. Should've just... Been efficient and use some of these. Uh oh. Wow, I actually did get baited into just climbing up the entire mountain. Eating all of my stamina food. Nice job. Kinda knew that was gonna happen, but I just let it happen. Like, whatever. No big deal. Where's the fire at? There it is. Yeah, this looks like it's a, uh... Oh, I missed. Yeah, one of these. I could take their food if I wanted, but... I won't. I was wondering what that ambient sound was. It sounded a little more ominous. Honestly. Looking at the time, I don't know. 
I thought I, I guess I thought I wasn't gonna wander around this mountain area. So I might be done with Zelda by now, but I don't, th I don't think the chance of me playing a different game today is probably not pr pretty low now. Oh, what is this one? Combat trial? I am Kimokasa. This one's like a special one because it's got water. You can electrify it, I guess. A major test of strength. Ooh. Okay. Well, haven't had one of those in a while. The last time I had one of those, I had like way different weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna run through a lot of weapons still. I guess we'll freeze it and use the two-handed on it. Um, we'll use an ancient arrow on it, actually. That's probably pretty good. Good armor on. With guardian resist, even. We'll save. Now I want to eat some attack up food as well, just so we don't use up as much items. Alright, so first we want to get a picture, actually, because we forgot to do this last time. This guy probably is electric, too. We gotta be careful about that. That's probably why he has water. Maybe not. Really? That didn't do anything. That was pretty good. Let's, like, use up one of these. Oh, did that arrow do nothing on it? What the fuck? Our health. Oh, whoops. Let's not do that again. the headshot. Oh my god, we got so lucky. I was like, oh heck, I need stasis. Got him. 
This was so much easier than last time, but this is for multiple reasons. A, I have way more tricks up my sleeve. I know stasis is a thing. And headshotting these guys. Guardian shield plus plus, huh? And I actually know how to fight those guys in the first place. The first time I fought these guys, it was in a major test of strength. And yeah, that was fun. So many tries. I guess we can get rid of our other guardian shield. We have the plus plus one. Yeah, it can deflect beams. The Ancient Battleaxe plus plus, but it doesn't have much durability. We have the Spear, which will have like 20 attack. Yeah, so I can either go with the Battleaxe or the Spear. The Battleaxe is 60 attack, but... And it is critical hit. I kind of like the Wind Cleaver. This is a ranged attack. I mean, I don't think I'll really use it, but... It's pretty cool. I think I'll, I'll use it and I'll get the, get the spear as well. I could, if I want two guardian shields, but I don't know. Like, I'm gonna use the guardian shield just to reflect with guardians. Mostly. I guess since I have so many shield slots, I'll keep it. Because, like, that, this one might break if I fight a bunch of guardians. I don't run, like, I barely run through shields. Like, this amount of shields is probably good enough to last me a while. I'm probably pretty good. Really? All you get for this is rupees, though. This one was a little bit easier than the other one, though. Because it had a wet floor. You could just shock it whenever you wanted. An interesting design choice. Alright, let's put the right armor on before we leave, just so we're good. Triumph over the test of strength. <laughs> I just keep reading this. I don't read like some of the new text. I just leave it up to everyone else to read. And then this text that shows up every single shrine. I'll read that. Hmm. There are certain plants that only. There are certain things that only happen in rain. You know, just like Animal Crossing. Gotta keep an out my eye out for them what the game is saying. Okay, now what do I want to do? Hmm. I could go up this mountain, because maybe the statue is up this mountain, but I don't really want to. I don't really feel like it. Not even a way up it. I'd rather, um, yeah, I'd rather just keep going the way I'm going and climb down. Basically. Just go back. Failed my mission to find the statue. This is kind of weird. There's that sword, but there's no statue near it. So you just gotta explore the... Mountains thoroughly. Thoroughly.
Let's take a picture of these birds. Oh, we already have a picture of pigeons. Well, why is this here? No reason in particular. Look down there, I guess. Where we're going anyways, I guess. Where's our rock at? Yep. Down there. We can just throw it in there. Almost. Almost. Oh, wait, what? Wow, that's some really lenient hit detection on that. Alright. Oh, look at the wolves. They're killing the... What's it called? And I just left its meat sitting there, too. What? Oh. Like, what is going on? Oh, wow, we reflected that somehow. What are those? Those are snow coat foxes, huh? I've never heard them w bark in this game. The dogs. There's the city if we just want to drop down and fly in. Yes, here's where the game made us go. I think. Or is this like... No, it's not. I'm making stuff up. No, this is not where the game made me go. After the Yika clan. I, like, forgot this is even why I'm here. Like, oh yeah, there's this, uh... Helmet I had to get back. There's another shrine. Encased in ice. Common theme, I guess. <laughs> Might not be. It looks pretty big, though. And it's got a, uh... What's it called, circling it? Are these whiz robes? I forget. I think I've already taken pictures. A blizz robe. Oh, I've never taken pictures, huh? Bomb arrows? Is this giving me ideas? Another blizzard rod. I don't think you can bomb these, though. Yeah, you have to melt them.
I don't know if just having the flame spear out is enough, but looks like it. Why is it taking this long to melt? Just melt. That wasn't anything. We'll try making a fire here. I like how it lets me- why would it tell me that then? Oh, heck. Let's just catch me on fire, and that's how we'll, uh, do this. Oh, whoa. He's a silver one. That's pretty cool. All right, well, freeze. Oh, what if I put on my helmet? Will he think I'm a... Uh... like a prehistoric one. And he's got a dragon bone boko club with something. 24, it's got critical hits. Actually pretty good. I guess I can handle, uh, that. Like there's something even bigger in here. Oh, it's just a black mob one. Oh, wow, I almost died. Let's try this again. What? I jumped into him and died. Why is he almost killing me? I mean, I know why, but like, why? I can see the uh, outline. There's another enemy. It's kind of funny. That was kind of worthless. What was the point of the hat? So there's a silver moblin, which is a new to me enemy. Which is cool, but other than that... 
like worthless. It just like kills me almost. I like how he just caught himself on fire, and that killed him. What's if you have this whole area is, though? It's just frozen enemies. I can see it here, even. Like, this is just a frozen guy. I guess maybe that guy gives it away, like, these are all frozen enemies, but... I love how I can free I could froze freeze the uh, guys in the Yaga clan forever, but these guys don't freeze. Oh hey. Just need to buy a million fire arrows. No big deal. Um, what? That was pretty silly. That was three arrows wasted on nothing. Oh, this guy. This guy just wants to free thaw his friends out. Fights for his friends. I'm gonna come and ruin his fun after these dogs ruin my fun first. Okay. <laughs> ah, nice, he caught on fire. that weapon on him, but I guess I might as well. I like that that works. I don't think there's anything to this one. I'm not even gonna bother. This one has a big boy by it, so there's gotta be something to it.
Wait, okay, I was like, wait, what are all these bows that I have? This is just an enemy. All right, got him. All that for some ice arrows, dude. He doesn't even have a weapon, so there's no reason to fight him. Won't give me anything in return. Really? There we go, now we have a weapon. It's only two-handed. There's another silver one. Now let's try to sneak strike him. We're gonna have to freeze a little bit, but... Okay, we got him. Got him. Wow, so I guess they're just like, um, what's it called? So with... No, they got a lot of health and they always have good stuff. We can just sit here actually till day if we want. I'm gonna do some cooking because... Yeah, I don't have very much food. I need to get some stamina food back and some just health food back. I think I have any herbs for stamina, it seems. Endura? Endura's not quite the same. Need stamina for increase. Gains. There we go. Don't forget all of your exhaustion. Replenishes your stamina. Okay. And cook it with some salt. There we go. Add some stamina up. Herbs. Salt and mushrooms? Salt and mushrooms doesn't sound bad. That was like nothing. That was terrible. What if we try to make an elixir to do it? Have anything? Cover stamina? Doesn't look like it. They just do the fish. There we go. I think we have, yeah, we have more crabs that give us... No, you don't. Making stuff up. <laughs> Go. Some, uh... Yeah, max heart replenishing.
And one to a meal for nutty seasoning. That's pretty good. Or maybe and salt and nuts. That's not even an amazing one. SMH. That wasn't even any good, apparently. That, that did not have the desired effect either. I have some stamina recovery food now, though. And some heart recovery. Add an egg? Make it fish? Uh oh. Well, I was not holding anything anymore. Not finding any good recipes. I was only plus two. SMH. Oh well. I guess good enough. I got some full recovery food. We need like a few more still. We used up a lot of food. We used up a lot of stamina and a lot of full recovery food. We gotta make it, uh, we gotta make it good. <laughs> nope. I have not gotten anything good. I've been cooking for like the last 20, last 20 minutes I've been cooking. Gotten nothing good. Berries and meat. <laughs> that did not do me any good. All right. Let's go in here. Oh, okay. Remember these guys? Look at this chest real quick, dude. Another golden bow with quick shot. I don't want quick shot though. I'll need it. Ah. Uh, 
Don't need to fight him either, this guy. I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, I'm going back towards to where I was. And I wanted to glide across here and try to explore this mountain. I'll try to do that. Him throwing stones at me, though. Really? Got the sneaking going. Sne with the guardians. I don't know why I was gonna say sneak stab. Hmm. Yeah, and I have no idea where going back this way would have gone. Oh, there, oh, well I do. It goes into an enemy nest. I think I climbed up those... That. Hmm. Alright, well. Anyways. Let's jump across. That was not a good jump. The zero ten 10 jump. Oh, heck. Now, I doubt the statue I'm looking for is over here, because there was a piece of it somewhere else, but you never know. The snowball? How did it miss? No! No! That was an easy money Korok seed, and I just beefed it. That's why you don't let it roll, huh? And you're just screwed. You just gotta come back here and do it again later. Alright, well, we'll mark it on the map, I guess. SMH. <sighs> Again. Oh my god, that bow did like a million damage. I do barely have any armor on. Oh, wow. That is not what I thought that was. That's a frost house. An icy boy. There's two of these in like the same area. I don't want anything to do with him. Like, I de the one that's in the very beginning of the game, I've ki killed. KO'd. That's about it. And I guess they're good for farming rupees, but... To get the materials.
Hmm. Well, I don't know. I kind of just want to look up where the statue is. But at the same time, I'd rather, like... If I'm going to do that, I might as well just explore all the mountains. Indiscriminately. But I don't want to do that right now, even though I kind of have. Because, uh... I wanted to get on with the main story stuff. I have yet to do that. They're all just little treasures, but it makes sense because they're all over the place. I think I'm back to where I was. Maybe not. But that's an enemy base. Well. Oh well. I think I'm about ready to just jump down. Look for the statue later. I'm we going in a circle. Yeah, I'm gonna be all the way over here. I intended to kind of just jump down and go this way. Where I've already been. We're just gonna run away. Alright, well that's an enemy base, so... Can't really do anything. Not really anything else for me here. Okay, well, I think I'm about ready to just jump down. There's the entrance to the Gerudo Desert, and then there's the desert. On the mountains that were on the edge that I couldn't get to, I guess. Yeah, that statue is hidden. That statue is probably either just, like, in this corner here, or in, in this corner here, where I haven't been up top. It could be just more hidden. It could be hidden well. Not really sure. Well, anyways, I guess I'll finally move on in the main story. Maybe. Look, this is a very long subversion. It's like two hours of exploring the mountains. Because that's where the Yaga clan leaves you. Where their base is. Where I had to go. Required by law. I'm just curious where I can jump down to. Doesn't look like anything much. I've already been... I guess I already did jump down from here before. There's this little ruin area over here, though, that I haven't been... 
I think this is where I was thinking the statue might be, but I'm pretty sure that's not the case. I, think I might have already been here, even. not. Oops. Didn't mean to get his attention. Alright, anyways. Been using so many fire arrows. I guess we'll just fight these guys. I didn't really intend it. I'm pretty sure yeah, I've been here. I looked this way and I was just like, nope. Because there were all these baddies. Okay, we'll go for the treasure now. Hey, look at this guy. That's not... Where's that? There we go, we got some fire arrows back. There we go, there's some fire arrows. I don't really see where this place even fits in. It's just like a random ruin on this cliff. Okay, well I'm not gonna run across the whole part of the cliff, partially because I think I've already been on that side of it. Yeah, and then this is entrance to the Yaga Clan area. Alright, well, I guess we'll just glide back to the city and get her done there. Or we can finally enter the town without, a. Uh... ...having to change clothes. Oh, we gotta change. Oops. What's that bonus heat resistance? So we only get level 1 heat resistance from it? Have I been to this? Might not have. Even though it's like right here. Yeah, it doesn't look like I've been to it. I feel like you could go up that ramp with the... Uh... Oh, no, I have. What oh, the... Ladder is for. Alright, well, I don't think we have the picture that that guy wants of the statue. I'm sure the game will probably be a little more obvious if we uh, find it. I feel like that sword, like, 
just such a tease. That sword should be related to it, but... Did not find the rest of the statue. I don't even see that guy. Alright, so we need to buy... All the durians. We do, I do kind of want to go to the spa, because we get all the plus buffs, but... Let's buy some arrows. Times 10 for 140. I'm using up the shock ones too. I think having oh, about 100 is good enough. That's actually the only thing I need to do here. Other than turn in this thing. Go ahead and save. Oh yeah, I could go and upgrade. I don't think this will like force me to do anything when I turn in. The game hasn't really done that yet. Oh, now the princess is missing, huh? Okay, now we can go up to the second floor, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think there's any people you need to... ...take pictures of. I am, as you no doubt notice, still but a child. Hmm. People look on me with nothing but warmth in their eyes, but even this brings me some pain, I must admit. What the vocabulary? Hmm, I guess, uh, 12. Uh, I kinda was reading that accidentally hit A. Yes, your arrival in the midst of all of this must be the work later, Bosa. Now give me the helm. You can use it later. Um, how do I look? Oh, wait, do we get a flashback? We do. This is the music for it. Flashback. Ah, oh. well, you certainly got here fast. I should have expected as much from the princess's own appointed knight. She was out on a survey all day today, still as the sands now. So, spill it, boy. Have the two of you been getting along all right? <laughs> it's okay, I know. Your silence speaks volumes. She gets frustrated every time she looks up and sees you carrying that sword on your back. It makes her feel like a failure when it comes to her own destiny. Don't worry, it's not like you carry blame in any of this. It's unfortunate. She's put in more than enough time. Ever since she was a young girl, 
She's gone through rigorous daily routines to show her dedication. She once passed out in the freezing waters trying to access this sealing power. And she has nothing to show for it. That's the motivation driving her research. I'd be doing the same thing. She really is quite special. You be sure to protect her with your life. It's quite the honor. The night brings a chill. It's probably time we take her in. Hmm. Or... Ragusa! What was that? Did you feel that? What? How did you... What are you doing here? <laughs> What's so funny? Yes, that was good at the end, because... Mm -hmm. Why is like, uh... Not much character... Not much character to care about. But now they're a prankster? How is it? It's a tad big. Yeah, actually, it looks like it fits fine. Being honest. Uh, never mind. The threat the divine beast poses has only grown since we've been searching for the heirloom. Er, uh, out right now. Let's find some way to stop that thing. Like, are we just stopping it now? Let's meet up at the lookout post south of town. I'll be waiting for you with my favorite sand seal. Okay. Oh, we really got out of this, huh? Got a flashback. Just keep jumping. Alright, well. Get a heart. I wonder if I want to do 50 50 again. Count how many hearts I have 2, 3, another heart container. Maybe I'll do the odds and ends before I go talk to her, because it might be we go and fight the... what's it called now? I think it was before, after you get the shock arrows, you just went and fought the... Guardian. In, uh, what's it called? Sora's domain. <laughs> Thinking really hard. Apparently, the cheese heirloom is returned. Still a chance the thieves will come back. As people say different stuff now. We can get the white Gerudo stuff now if we want.
Valeria needs to get back out on the front lines and where she longs. What happened? He's lucky. Oh yeah, I wonder if I had to free that person that was, uh, stuck in the cage. Alright. I'll go talk to the soldiers. I might have to go try to free that person. Well, that's the person. I mean, you don't plan to investigate that shrine anymore. <laughs> yeah, you know what really is me. Just drinking. It's been a while since I've seen Calivan. I guess we'll try to listen in on them again? Yeah, the eight here, eight pair of wine statue. You know, around at all lately? To the top of the wall or something? <laughs> okay, so someone I already know is there. Let's see what the soldiers have to say now. We stuck doing spear training. Well, you were, you managed to get ahead of us. They spread their forces so thin looking for you. I managed to bust out and return here. Okay, so I don't have to go rescue her separately. Thought maybe I did. Okay, well, I'm done for the night, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> now I think what I want to do... Look at the... Adventure log. Yeah, we're gonna take on the Divine Beast now. Five mate memories remaining. Go oh, sword. Yeah, I can do a whole bunch of odds and ends before I go take on this thingy if I want. Look at the companion. In Scout 4. Didn't even an ancient core. Yaga Blade Master. Extremely agile despite their bulky build. They can create stone pillars and blasts of air. They didn't make stone pillars. Master Koga. Leader of the Egg Clan, a group with a single objective. Eliminate Link. Sends his minions all over Hyrule in search of you, but tends to spend most of his time napping and generally loafing about. Despite this, his mastery of the esoteric arts have earned him deep respect. Even if he were to die, his followers would never give up their one and only task. They're kind of just uniquely saying, hey, there's, there's still assassins. 
Maybe be able to scale it if you use something that thoughts icy exterior. Hmm. The white maimed Lionel. Their ability to breathe fire makes them the toughest. Oh wow. Silver Oko Blood. They've been influenced by Ganon's fiendish magic, so they are even stronger than black Oko Blends. They're rare. Blizz Robe. Weather will normalize once the Blizz Robe is defeated. As oh, so they affect the weather, huh? Apparently I haven't taken a picture of any of the Wiz Robes, which is kind of weird. Like a big oversight on my part. There's like literally a spot where I can, uh, there's, there's all the types of whiz robes even. I think the only new creature is... Yeah, the moose. Oh, and the Snowcoat Fox. I don't think any new materials. Warm Symphina? Symphina? I thought I read all this stuff on materials before. Still not reading the Master Sword. Still, uh, I get it. Strange Hammer is one of Kilton's specialties. Being struck by it. Okay, that's exactly the same as its normal description. We also have the Wind Cleaver. These are all the same descriptions as just the normal weapon. Flame Spear. Spiked Moblin Sphere. The Ice Spear that I have not... I don't have a picture of it? Or I don't think I have an Ice Spear. Duplex Bow. And Guardian Shield plus plus. Hold up. I don't. Do I have a. F not taken a picture of it? I'm sure, I have. Nope. Never took a picture of it. Okay. Well, good thing I did. There should be like an icon if you've taken a picture. It's kind of hard to keep track. What else do I have? The picture of the wind glove. The rest of these are like one-handed. Yeah, Dragon Bone, Oko Club, all the different blades, Moonlight Shmitar. Yeah, pictures of everything else. That was just an oversight. Thunderblade took a pick up of. Yeah, that's a weird oversight. I just never wound up taking a picture of the. Rossphere. Huh. Alright. I'm done with this game for tonight. I wound up just grinding this game because I wound up exploring the uh, highlands.